Katie from the Scrappy Sisters and it is day 23 of our Scrappy Advent Calendar. Oh my gosh, we're basically at the end. Uh, this is my last process video for the month. So yeah, oh my gosh, I have loved this uh, December. Um, I've loved making all these layouts for Jess and I just, I, I just love December. <laughs> I just love December. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it too. Um, I'm actually filming this on like the 4th of December. or not filming it, doing the voiceover. So I'm a bit late. Um, and so I've already opened like my first four gifts. And oh my gosh, so much fun. Loving it so far. I've got my t-shirt and my earrings. Um, so how exciting. You guys obviously already know the rest of the gifts I got. I do not. It's still a surprise at this point. Um, but I'm so loving this. So my last layout here, this is actually story number nine in Jess's 2022 December Daily Album. And this is a double page inside the page protector spread. So I'm using Coco Vanilla Studio Joy. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Oh my gosh, joyful, 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 sorry, joyful. Coco Vanilla Studio Joyful Collection. And so the A5 paper stack is a little smaller than uh, six inches wide, which is what the page protector is. So to combat that, you could totally just leave it. Um, but I didn't want to trim my photos down too much and they're four by six size photos. I trimmed like a quarter of an inch off um, the long side and the short side. Um, but I didn't want to trim much more than that. So I just added a paper strip, just a little paper strip. Um, and because this is a double page spread, I've used the same paper strip, even though the pattern papers are two different pattern papers. But I did use the same um, paper strip and they will go like on the same edges. So the edges are like together, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so oh, I pulled out the... 12 by 12 cut apart sheet and it had um this kind of scallop print a uh, pattern border strip and I just fussy cut out the scallop and I'm just adding that to the bottom of the left hand side so the right hand side has two photos which basically takes up the entire spread I will adhere that little oh what fun um word bit um but that's it that goes over there oh well that's not quite it but that's basically it um so I'm kind of focusing on the, the left hand side which only has the one photo these are the professional photos that Jess and the boys got taken. And actually there's a whole heap of um, our two, our four children together in these as well, um, which is, they are super cute. Um, they, it was chaos and it was, oh my gosh, it was, it was a challenge to get the photos. But Jess's kids are very photogenic and they do what they're told, which was super cute. Uh, so I have added my single photo. I've added my little scallop down the bottom. And then I came in with half of a what do you call that frame and then I added the little reindeer and the little bunny just because I had them they're large ephemeral pieces they fit on this page so I thought you know what let's go um, and I will come in with one of the gold um, puffy word titles um, as well to add to this page not that it really needs a title but you know they're cute and I want to use them so I'm going to so I'm just going to add that little oh what fun down and then that side is, is pretty much done this is hence why um, you know it's a double I'm filming this it doesn't take long um, because really there's not a lot of embellishing you can do in a six by eight canvas when you've got two <laughs> four by six size photos to add um, so I'm adding the journaling which is just one little strip that says we had professional family Christmas photos taken with the boys and they turned out so cute um, so I'm just adding that down to the bottom of that photo on the left hand side it really is cute. I did um, faff about on where to stick it, but ultimately I kind of um, layer it a little bit over the overlapping the photo. Um, and then I'm going to come in with this title and I'm just going with the word together, um, which I'm going to add along the top of the photo. So I'm just adding that down. And then I thought that I probably should add a little bit more gold, given that's the only kind of intense gold that's going on the page so I will come in with some of the puffy hearts that are also on these titles puffy stickers and add three to the right hand side and three to the left hand side um, and then I do kind of mess about with my number a little bit while I'm trying to figure out which number I want to include and where I want to add the number um, as I said this is story number nine in Jess's album um, oh yeah and I add a little puffy sticker oh yeah I forgot about that this is super cute 
I add the little, look at that, I add the little Santa hat on the bunny. How adorable. So cute. Uh, so I am just thinking about the number and I get a few different options out, but ultimately I come back to this black one. Um, I did kind of want to put the number there and part of me still thinks maybe I should have, but the black wouldn't have worked because the photos are quite dark. So I needed something a bit different. Um, and then, yeah, so I wanted to pick a number. Sorry, I think I'm changing my YouTube video that I'm watching. <laughs> um, often I watch YouTube while I'm scrapping. Fun times. Um, so I'm thinking about the number and I'm pulling out a few other options behind me. You don't see them necessarily. I think I audition a couple of others, but ultimately, oh yeah, I audition a white one, which would have worked in on the, the OWAP, above the OWAP fun, but wouldn't have worked nestled into the word together because it just faded into the background. Ultimately, I come back to the black one and I just tuck that in there and here we go. We're done. So make sure you check out Jess's opening video, which will be linked in the description box down below. Um, she's only got one more. We've only got one more video going up tomorrow and then we're done. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Thank you guys for watching um, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys. Bye.